Hello world, this is What's Up Tune on Jiro here, and today I'll be showing you how to record sound directly off of your computer's video card. Now what this will do was this will label this will enable you to record the audio off certain apps on your computer directly instead of having to like, I don't know, stick a microphone to your computer speaker or something. So you know, and, and if you're playing for gameplay footage on your computer to get the sound, you won't have to um, stick a microphone to your computer because you'll just be recording it off of your computer. You're, we're going to set it up so that QuickTime player will just restore, record it off of your computer, the audio off of your computer's um, sound card directly instead of recording, even using the speakers at all. So. What you're going to want to do is download and install Soundflower. So, the link to download Sound, Soundflower will be in the, in the description, and yes, you will have to go through an installation process, which isn't too hard. So once you've got Soundflower installed, um, when when you're and this is when you're ready to record the audio off of your off of your app, what you're going to want to do is open your system preferences, then once you've got that open, just uh, click sound. Go to output. And then where it says internal speakers, you're going to want to select, click those. Be, there should be two once you've got Soundflower installed and maybe restart your computer. There should be two here that'll say Soundflower 16 channel and Soundflower 2 channel. Now, you should try, you can experiment both if you want the one, but the one that I've used the most personally is Soundflower 2 channel. So, once you've done that and you're ready, now you're ready to record record your audio with QuickTime Player. So you're going to want to open QuickTime Player, go to, well, if you click new screen recording, if you, if it's, if it is indeed a video you want to shoot, click new screen recording, but if it's just the audio, you want to click new audio recording. And then for audio and screen recording, setting this up is the exact same. You just click this little arrow here, and then select Soundflower. When you select Soundflower, make sure to select the same one that you selected here. I would recommend you use two channel for both of these. Oh yes, and right here, sorry about this, I, I missed out on this part. My bad, sorry. Right here you want to change this up, you want to put this up to like max. And that's it. You're ready to record audio directly off of your apps without having to use your speakers or a microphone at all. So, I'm sorry I can't really show you any examples, but I don't really have any examples that I can show you. So, I'll have the link to download Soundflower in the description. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is What's Up 290. And I'm signing off. Have a nice day. Oh, sorry. And once you uh, put, and once you are done recording, you'll want to come back to here and select internal speakers again when you're done. And the same goes for QuickTime. When you're done recording, click this arrow again and reselect internal microphone. So, hope you enjoyed. This is What's Up 290, and this time I really am signing off.